Yes. Mr. Hayden Harris, this didn't start on the 7th of October. Do the Palestinians have a right to defend themselves? Because the speak is Israel has a right to defend itself. Did Palestine have a right to defend itself when land was taken from it, when people were dispossessed, when houses were leveled, when UN resolutions on torture, on ethnic cleansing, on apartheid? Did the Palestinians have a right to defend themselves? Did they have a right to defend themselves when Israel turn on and turn off the electricity and stop food and stop medical aid long, long before this attack? Well, because, let's, let's, let's answer, just we? one more thing, right? There are 600 Palestinian children buried under the rubble at this moment in time. There are over 500 Palestinian children dead. And there are 500 Palestinian children in jail, 150 of them minors, hostages, hostages. The children under the rubble are hostages. The children in the jails are hostages. There are hostages on both sides here. What, what we can't be sure about, sadly, is, is exactly how many people have been killed, actually, because we, we just we know it's a lot, but we just can't know, know how many. Do you want to just quickly answer yeah, that? Yeah, and, and, um, and I understand the passion with the, the lady has, uh, has talked. But on October the 7th, a terrorist attack of a music festival on a, uh, for a kibbutz changed the nature of the relationship between Israel and the Palestinian, uh, uh, well, uh, Hamas, most certainly, and Palestinian... No, let let, and, and let him answer. Give, give him a chance Palestine. to answer. And um, Israel has absolutely got the right to look after it. So, uh, 